and welcome back everybody this is movies and beyond uh this is just going to be a quick short review for a uh, season three part one of the witcher now before we get into this a little bit of background about me with the witcher witcher 3 wild hunt is my most favorite game of all time i love that game you know i've been through it on xbox on playstation on pc i love that game I have not read the books, so I'm not coming at this as an angle of someone who likes the books, has read the books. I'm going to be honest, I don't care if this is faithful to the books or not. This is this for me is just about if the show is good and fun. Uh, and I think this season, this part one of season three anyway, I think it, I think it delivered. Now, season one, I really enjoyed The Witcher. Season 2, I thought was a bit slow. Um, not really much going on there. But, um, you know, so Netflix have split Season 3 up into two parts. So, they've got this thing now where they are trying out different things and splitting up their shows into different parts. For me, it's either drop it all at once or do it weekly. I really like watching my shows weekly because you get to go in, you know, you're going to work, you know, you're talking about the show every week with everyone you work with, like Last of Us at the beginning of the year, that's what we was all doing, couldn't wait for Monday, you know, well in the UK it's Monday, couldn't wait for Monday to watch The Last of Us and then the next day is even better because you get to go to work and talk about it. So if they're trying to get people to, you know, stay engaged with the show more, maybe try a weekly release because they've dumped five episodes I don't know how many episodes are in the last part of season three. Uh, I'm assuming it might be three or it might be five. But because they've split it up into two parts and they've worked with it that way, I thought this first part was really well fast paced. I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, straight from the beginning of the episode of them moving around, keep moving, keep moving, and then that fight at the elf sanctuary. Oh my god. There was a nice one-shot take fighting that when Garrett comes right back out the portal. If you know me, if you've been on the channel for a while, you know I'm a sucker for a one-take fight. I loved that. Uh, I loved the relationships as well. I really thought they all worked together, you know, when they was together. They got separated again, but it worked for the story, you know. Uh, Garrett had to go do his thing, you know. Yen and Siri had to go do theirs. But overall, I thought they they worked well together. And when there was a part, you know, Henry Cavill is always going to kill it as Geralt. It's a real shame that this is his last season of The Witcher. Um, a lot of people blame that on thinking he was coming back for Superman. I know he was in the Black Adam post credit scene, and that's probably somewhat to do with it. But I'm pretty sure he was done with the role anyway. Even though he loves it, I'm pretty sure he was done with the role. Uh, but... You know, Yen and Siri, forget the actresses and names. But they've really come into their own this season. I've actually really liked Siri. You know, a lot of my favourite parts in Witcher 3, the Wild Hunt, is when you play as Siri. And I don't usually like that in games when you switch to another character out of nowhere. But the Siri stuff were really good because it was different. Um, and you're just starting to see that now. You're starting to see her come into her own as a character. Which is... Uh, Exciting. Now, the fact that Liam Hemsworth is going to be taking over the role of Geralt is kind of making me think. Right now, they could have maybe just like switched the show over to Siri. Maybe they've got plans for Geralt though. But um, yeah. Anyway, and and it, all I'm going to say is, Wild Hunt. They're doing it. It was teased at the back end of last season. Those who played the game, I read the books. Wild Hunt. They're doing it. So that little scene, that was great. I loved that. Um, and the, um, you know, all the background stuff, it's not quite as clever as Game of Thrones or House of the Dragon, but it's it's there, and they try to make it political with all the stuff with the mages and, you know, the, the magic people all in the castle trying to get the realms to come together. And there's, you know, there's a war coming. So hopefully we're going to see that in the uh, back 
back end of uh, the season. I thought we was left on a good cliffhanger. So, yeah, I just can't wait to get back into it. Overall, I'd probably give this first part of season three maybe a seven. Maybe. Yeah, I'd probably give it a seven. Like I said, that's coming from someone who hasn't read the books, loves the games, especially Witcher 3, uh, and really likes Henry Cavill in this role. I know a lot of people have been hate-watching this season. I've seen it on the Reddit that people are hate-watching. Uh, for me, if you don't like it, don't watch it. You just If you know you're not going to like it, don't watch it. You're wasting your time. But I I like the first season. I thought the second were okay. wanted to give it another chance. And it's really won me back. And But in the process of winning me back, it has made me very sad that we're losing Henry Cavill as Geralt. But we'll have to see what Liam Hemsworth can do. You know, maybe he'll be just as good in the role. But uh, anyway, this is just a quick review of uh, Witcher f- Season 3. I was going to say Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt then. Witcher Season 3, Part 1 on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, five episodes on Netflix right now. Go watch them. It's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Like, subscribe, share, show us to your mother. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the show. I really liked this season. Um. So yeah. And I'll see you uh, tomorrow in Movie News. Got some good stories tomorrow in Movie News, so can't wait to share that with you all. And uh, just another thing, my next ranking video, because I've done a Batman uh, ranking video, if you haven't seen it on the channel, um, Mission Impossible is coming out in a week, exactly a week from now. So uh, I'm probably going to rank every Mission Impossible film. So that'll be the next ranking video. So look out for that. But uh, yeah. See you on Movie News tomorrow.